Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In this case, I'm doing the werewolf illustration. If you follow me in my other social media, you've probably seen this illustration. It was the, done some time ago. It's already available on my store if you want to check it out. Basically, the technique that I use for any of the illustrations I do in this sort of technique is I start with a sketch, then I create a shape layer that it has two different purposes. One is to mask the character and the other one is to serve sort of as a base paint that I can then, as you can see me on the video, shade and play around with how the light is affecting the character depending on what I want to convey and what kind of lighting I want to give to it. Yeah, overall that's the just of the technique. I have, as I said, the sketch on a layer, then I have the shape of the character, then I have the shading. As you can see me here, I'm cleaning up, adding like the hairs to a character. Uh, if you see any creature, if you take a picture of it with a clear background, or if you uh, detail any image that you can see of an animal, if it has fur or feathers, that sort of thing, you're gonna see hairs outside of the shape of the character. That helps bring realism. Maybe you don't notice it in a conscious way, unless you're actively looking for it. But in a subconscious level, you you can notice those things, so it adds to the whole feel of the painting. I also uh, tend to separate the brightness on the eyes, the shine on the eyes, and because I wanted it to be like a really specific shape, so I kept that on a different layer. If you have seen my other videos, this one's a shorter one. It's basically the same technique. I I start with the overall shading. Once I'm happy with the shading, I start adding details onto what I already have. It's just a matter of dedicating time to how much detail you want to add to it. I wasn't going for a fully realistic uh, image, but I, I wanted a little bit of realism. So you see me adding a lot of details to the hair. Usually it works better if I have it in a separate layer, as I mentioned a few times already, because if I don't like something about it, I can modify it quickly instead of having to modify other parts of the painting that I don't need to affect it at that moment. Also, as you can see me uh, there, I was adding sort of the ambient occlusion to the character just by nature of it you're gonna get some of that yeah this one's a quick little video so i hope you enjoy that process you can see i made merch for it on my store i made different versions of it i really like that this saga of illustrations but yeah i haven't gotten that much uh, reach out of it hopefully some of you might enjoy it as much as I did painting these illustrations. It's, as I said in my other videos, it's an homage to the classical monsters. Hope to see you next time. Check out any of the links I have down below in regards to the merch. If you want to check it out, I have it on my Redbubble shop. This video took me a long time to... to actually get going I, I had the edit a long time ago but I, I, yeah, I didn't get around to, to actually doing this part of the video because of different things schedules and such but yeah if you have any questions about any of the things I, I do or you can see on my channel feel free to add them down below and I'll glad answers answer those questions I hope to see you next time I also hope I don't take that long to make a new video anyway that's that's on the works so stay tuned thank you all for watching hope to see you next time